Tell me again, what does your butt do? It, it holds all of the soldiers. It holds all the soldiers? How many was that? Do you know? No. Did you count them? No. You didn't count them? No. <laughs> but you know it holds them all? Yeah. Do you think you can hold any of these planes? All right, so I've been busy here after school getting all these new games ready for all my math and reading tubs for my kiddos. And I've got more on that coming up because I want to talk. Somebody asked in one of the comments on YouTube if I could do a video about how I do my small groups, and I am going to do a big video on that. But I kind of want to get everything the way I want it going before I do that video. And since we're still kind of in the learning phase of independent work in my classroom, that video will be coming. But today I want to do a big recap of the unit that we used to start our school year, and that was a unit we called Kindergarten Boot Camp. Okay, so last spring, uh, I found a pack that one of my friends was doing, Greg from the Kindergarten Small Groups Boy that you guys know, put together a pack called ABC Boot Camp. And then he's developed that into Number Boot Camp, Word Fame Boot Camp, all these different things. But I started with getting ABC Boot Camp because I thought it'd be cool to try my classroom. It's military theme, the kids all love that. So then I decided, what if I took those packs and added on to them to make a bigger unit. So I came up with a unit this summer where I started writing down ideas to do a unit called Kindergarten, hang on the lighting in here, my focus was all off, sorry. Kindergarten Boot Camp. And it's been a blast, we finished it. There are things that I want to add next year, but because it was the first year, we kind of took it slow. But what I want to do today is kind of go through everything that we did in this unit to kind of uh, give you an idea if it's something you want to try. It'd be a great unit to throw into your classrooms around Veterans Day, or um, even at the end of the year, just a final big unit to, uh, end your year and kick off summer, or get it ready for next year to start off the year. So, like I said, start with, go to teacherspayteachers.com and look up the Kindergarten Smorgasbord and check out his boot camp packs. There's lots of different themes. There's monsters, superheroes, safari, the military theme that I used, um, but lots of them there. So go check that out first. That's where I started. So I gotta give credit to Greg for the, the main idea where this came from. And then I started listing all these things that I could do to add to this. So I started hitting up the Dollar Tree. We all know the Dollar Tree is a great spot to go for teachers. And I found some really cool things. So here's some things I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And I'll explain how we kind of use them. I'm going to put some pictures up here or down there. I don't know. Somewhere on the screen you'll see pictures that kind of go along with this. So the first thing I picked up were these little helmets. They're just plastic play military helmets and we use these for our first day of school pictures and these are the pictures that you can see right here that um, I put on Instagram I don't know if I did a video or not but we decorated our doors with this cool paper that my neighbor teacher found and she picked up for me so thank you Tiffany for that and she decorated the doors for us we put up the Fort Peterson sign and then we put up the first day of school pictures the coats and uh, hats and jackets and all that stuff that you see the kids wearing we had to parents who were in the service donate gear not donate but let us borrow gear for our kids to wear for those first day of school pictures. So that, that was a huge one too. You can reach out to parents for that. I also picked up at the Dollar Tree all these cool little jets. So these little military planes they had. And we use these along with army guys or toy soldiers for a sink and float activity. I had the kids make foil boats um, and they had to count how many soldiers their boat would hold. And you can see, I'll put some stuff here. Um, how many soldiers their boat would hold, and then they compared more or less. Mine held more than yours, mine was less than yours, and then they could try to see if they could make their boat hold all these little Hot Wheel or die cast cars. And that was a lot of fun for them to see if the, the weight made a difference, and if their boat held up, and they had a blast at that station, as you can see. They had so much fun. So those are some quick little things that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I'm sure you can find those other places too, that's just where I went. Uh, but that was a great place for me to start. So then let's talk about some of the stations and games that we did. So I already mentioned Sneak and Float. I put up a video a couple weeks ago about the memory game I made where I took uh, uh, these guys and I put lowercase, uppercase letters on them and they had to match them like a regular memory game. I did a video about that. You can see that on my channel. Maybe I'll link it below. I don't know. But go to my channel. You can find it. Um, I think I called it Boot Camp Memory. We did a bridge building activity that I did a video on as well where they had to use popsicle sticks and cups to build a bridge for vehicles to go over uh, sand or our desert is what we called it from base A to base B. Great STEM activity. Uh, boot Camp Buddies. Hold up. This is a little page that I made called Boot Camp Buddies where they had to use letter stamps and they used all those names on that big wall back there and they had to stamp their friends' names to go home and tell their family about uh, some friends that they found. Now this clip art came from, and I'll put it right here because I'm not sure right this second. There you go. That's who the clip art came from. Uh, you can find it on Teachers Pay Teachers as well. I made this little sheet 
to go along with it. And I'm, I'll throw this on my teacher's page, teacher's page eventually. I'll put it, I'll let you know when I put it up. But that was a fun station in our, just learning names, our name station. They had to stamp their name at the top and then they had to stamp five friends' names here using just little rubber letter stamps and ink. They had a blast with that because they love using ink and stamps. Uh, write the room. I got more clip art from that same person. It's a whole big pack. It's a Veterans Day clip art pack. So whoever put that, the she, he, I don't know who runs the store. Great job because it's an awesome pack of clip art. I made write the room packs for each branch of the military as well, which I will also put on my teacher's page, teacher's page eventually. Eventually I'll get there, okay? Uh, but those are some station ideas that we did. Uh, we also used blocks to build bridges and bases and forts and they, they had a blast with it. It was so much fun doing those stations. They had a great time. All right, let's talk about crafts. I'm gonna throw some pictures up here somewhere with the crafts that we did. The first one we did, recruitment posters. And I did a video about this a while back. We made little posters that said, we want you for a great year in kindergarten. We put a little clip art soldier face on there or helmet. We cut out their picture and uh, they made little recruitment posters that they watercolored. Parents loved them. They turned out great. Super, super cute. Uh, we did camo names like these. The camo names were just, uh, I wrote their name on a piece of paper. They ripped up green, brown, and black shreds and glued it down to cover their name. They had so much fun with that as well. And then we made vehicles like the one you see right here. That was my little friend Delaney made that tank. All I did was die cut, sorry, die cut a bunch of shapes. And we put all the shapes together and then I let them create what they wanted. Some made jets, some made boats, some made tanks, some made jeeps. Some of them just made uh, kind of design with all the different colors and it looked it looked really cool. So that, that was fun. The last thing that we did to end this off is, well before, hang on, I'll be right back. One of the last things that we did to finish this off is we talked about the importance of soldiers uh, and military people, veterans, and current active people, and what they're doing for our country, how they're helping keeping us safe, and we talked about how we should be thanking them. So we're not waiting until Veterans Day. This is something you can do any time of the year, and we made little thank you notes. So at the bottom, it just says, thank you for your service. Again, I used the clip art from that person. Thank you for your service. And uh, they colored pictures. So you can see my buddy Chase drew some tanks and helicopters. They just drew pictures of different things that we talked about. Some of them drew flags. Some of them just drew people. Some of them wrote some words down. And uh, like here, this little girl told me about her favorite station. So my friend Ariel drew a boat. And she said, we made boats to test sink and float guesses. We filled our boats with toy soldiers. My boat held a lot of soldiers. So it became a storytelling activity too. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bind these into a book and make a little cover that tells about how we celebrated ABC boot camp and kindergarten boot camp this year. And I'm gonna deliver that to our local VFW for them to share with uh, the people who frequent there. So I thought that was a lot of fun. And then to end it off, we did a big graduation celebration kind of. We handed out certificates, they all clapped for each other. And then I found all those little camel glasses that they're wearing and Oriole and Trading actually. I ordered them from Oriole and Trading, they're super cheap. I had a gift card last year from a student and uh, picked them up and that was kind of their prize for uh, graduating boot camp. So again, there are a lot of ideas right there. I hope you enjoy those pictures. Anything I can, I'll link below. Um, but that's about it. Again, thank you to Greg Smedley from the, Warren, sorry, Greg Smedley Warren from the Kindergarten Smorgasbord for putting together all the packs. Again, go check those out. You guys will love them. If you do a safari theme, superhero theme, or monster, I think the other one is, theme, you're gonna love what's there. Uh, but the boot camp theme worked well for me. And like I said, I just built on it. So we turned his ABC boot camp into a big kindergarten boot camp, and uh, his number boot camp we're using as well for all the writing pages. Everything's there that you need. It's 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 all there. So check out those packs. Definitely pick them up if you can. And that's a great place to start. And then, like I said, all the papers that I made, the thank you note, the boot camp buddies page, the write through them, I will eventually get up on my teachers 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 pay teacher site, and I will let you know when that's done. But I hope you like those ideas. If you're thinking about doing a boot camp thing, please comment below. Let me know if you have questions. The theme went well. The kids had a blast. Now we're moving on to apples and they're having a lot of fun. So I'll be doing some videos about all of that soon. But uh, there you go. That's your recap, I guess, of kindergarten boot camp. I hope you enjoy the pictures. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So thank you everyone for watching. And I will be back soon with another video for all of you. Hope you enjoy your week, guys. I'll see you soon.